Right. This, this is not content. This is not content. I don't know why I thought I'd do this. There is no reason, guys. There is no reason. There is nothing specific happening today. Heck, I might not even be talking in this video, but I will explain a little bit about what I'm doing. I'm essentially filming something that I would normally do off camera just to see if anybody cares at all if I do film these things. Because I know people like to watch me repot and stuff. And a lot of repot with me. Is, I mean, I do a lot of chatting and not a lot of repotting, right? So what I'd like to do is show you a couple of things. There is something amazing down here that I'm about to pick up. I want to show you something down there. I want to show you some stuff here that you can kind of see. This is what we're working on today. I will pick it up in a moment. And I have some really old planters that I have kept, guys, for about two years from my old flat where I used to live. And I'm going to put them in my house. But I thought you might want to see it because I thought, you know what? It's a big process. It'd be nice to take you with me, even if it was just little bits and pieces, even there. Then you can just follow along. So I might... Not not really be talking much in this but i might just put some music over it and we're going to basically sort out let me try and pick it up without getting my mic oh, it's not how you lift that's not how you lift this guy you remember this guy this is my humongous and i did say it was humongous in a video last week my stru strelitzia it's not a strelitzia it's not a strelitzia stromanthi trio star look at her now she might be crispy but my god she's big can you see this god that's a thumbnail and a half look at that <laughs> Basically, she might be slightly big for the house. She is gorgeous, don't get me wrong. I don't really know what to do with her. What I might do, and I will put her down like so. What I might do is I'm going to trim her up and make her look sexual and then decide what she looks like and maybe take her out of the pot and just replant her and just make her a little bit fresher to go to the house. I do think she could be smaller because honestly, I think I could divide this and have two plants out of it. So it's kind of a repot in that sense. The other things I've got to show you with the planters that are here. Let's show you these before we get cracking. You might remember them. If I hold these up, you might remember them. These with all the wood stands, all the mid-century stuff. I have all of that and I have different sizes of all of these huge, huge pots. And I got them all from TK Maxx. I think that's TJ Maxx in America. Here it's TK Maxx. Don't know why it's any different. I paid 30 pounds for this one and that's including the wood stand. And it is big and it is solid. I don't know if they still do this kind of thing in here, but if they do, you need to get down there. Right, so my Maranta situation, okay. I checked on Gus. He is, he's my regular Maranta. He looks good, but he's very irregular looking. He's got some good growth, some bad growth, just due to the light levels in there. It hasn't really come through that uniform. My silver band looks really terrible, actually. And my no ID looks even worse, just due to neglect and underwatering and whatever have you. So I might not bring those yet. I'm just gonna stick with those two in the house today because I'm literally gonna sort them out and take them back. They're just one thing I have to do before I go home. The only thing, in my opinion, that I thought was just absolutely ready to go, like screaming, to be ready to go was this guy here. Are you ready for this guy? He just looks, honestly, honestly, he looks incredible. He looks, look at him, look at him. I'm pretty sure I fed him with my feet. Did I not? I'm sure I did. I might be lying to you, I don't know. If you, if I said I did in the video and if you saw me do it, then I did. But I can't remember. I'd have to look back at the content. So if anyone knows the last time I repotted this guy, let me know and tell me if I fed him with my feed. Because if I did, oh my God. Now don't get me wrong, there are crispies. There are crispies, but we can clean them up. So look at that. Oh my God. He looks incredible. Now he's not perfect. A lot of his leaves are not the right sort of color. A lot of them are faded, stuff like that. Some are a bit small. But generally speaking, guys, I mean, yes. And if you ever wanted to maybe get one of these from a garden centre, literally, they are really affordable now. Not quite this big, but you will get a lovely little bush to start off with for ooh, maybe £15, maybe a bit less, I'm not sure. But honestly, if you're in the UK at least and you want one, you will be able to find one. This is your sign, literally, to get one. And if you remember how this guy was, he wasn't amazing. But now, I mean, he needs a name, guys. He needs a name. So we'll pop him down here on the front. And what I'm now gonna do, I'm gonna switch up the camera frame so you can actually see me do something. I'll probably just do it all on the floor because it's the only way to do it. And this is why I don't normally film these things because it just gets a bit annoying. But I will put it all on the floor. We might do this one first and then I'll do the big one. I'll just put some relaxing music on and you can enjoy. And then I will come back at the end. And that's it. So if that sounds remotely interesting to you on this random Tuesday, then feel free to keep on watching. Right, let's move him first. Keep thinking that I 
could have done something But now I'm left with an empty heart No making amends No waking up beside you And holding you till we forget it all How could I know there was no second chance was surprisingly easy because honestly this guy if you can't tell he's pretty much in the best condition of his entire life right now so he can't see you he is kind of done so let's just move straight on to the big guy because that's kind of what's going to take a while Also, literally, actually loving what I've done here. Loving what I've done here. Need to do that at home. Need to do that at home. It looks absolutely amazing. Oh, we love that. We love that. We love that.
Guys, there are so many tufts of plants in here. You know how they're grouped together? Literally 10 plus, easy. We, it's hard for me because this looks so beautiful and yet it would be cool to separate them. I don't know, we'll keep cutting and then we'll just see how I feel because this, oh, this looks really good, I'm not gonna lie. It might be a nightmare, but I'm going to try and sort of repot this, take a few clusters out and put it back in. More or less in the same substrate, probably the same pot, all of that. We're just going to try and separate it. I'm going to go and take a look at the pots I have, and I'm just going to get cracking. This is going to be quite messy. This has never been repotted since I bought it in 2020. So we're probably just going to get rid of a little bit of this just to give it some longevity when we're at the other side, because I don't want to be repotting things within a week of getting there. Wish I could say I was finally over you But that's not the truth mm -mm. Everyone always keep falling in love again The fuck's wrong with them? Maybe it will pass by 
time someone save me for a pass out I'm too lonely to be done I'm a drink at this place
I've done some stuff. Does it look good? No. I don't know if you noticed, and I probably had to annotate a lot of that, but basically I started repotting the plant and then I realized that I don't have the potting mix here for any kind of prayer plant, Maranta, Calathea, anything. Like I know my Maranta's been fine in pawn, but I didn't really want to chance that because the other one's only ever been in soil. So what you saw was me literally Frankensteining the mix I had. So I had the rest of the potting mix that came out of the pot. I had sphagnum moss in there. I had coir chunks in there, I had a bit of pond in there, and then I had a really old plant that's been long dead that was potted in a really horrible, like essentially potting mix, and I've used some of that. So if you're wondering what on earth was going on there, that was basically it. I also feel like, yep, my nails are really bad. But let's just show you what I've done because that's taken, that's taken the best part of an hour, I think, quite honestly. Obviously you've seen it sped up because no one's got time for that, but let me show you what I've done. So this little guy, he doesn't look amazing, he's not super stable in the pot, but he is actually pretty much a whole plant harvested from the big one. And you know what? He, he doesn't look amazing, but he looks all right, doesn't he? So that's him there. That's another little baby Stramanthi trio star. I nearly bought one, guys. I was so close to buying one because I wanted a small one, but something just told me to just separate it out because it seems like the cheaper option and the more sensible option. So that's him anyway. He's not too wobbly, actually. He's not so bad. Once he's had a couple of waterings, he'll be fine. Hopefully he's okay in the mix. If he dies, we know why. We know why. Can we pinpoint the problem? Not to a specific ingredient, but I think we can definitely say it was probably the soil. The big boy, which honestly, the main thing I did was just trim him up and obviously make him smaller. But that is the big boy. If I rotate him round. And then obviously we have my beautiful lemon lime back there that's just, well, it's just him, isn't it really? I don't, can you see him? Uh, yes, you can right there. That's him there. So that is basically all ready to go to my house. So I'm going to be taking them this afternoon. I'm going to put them in the house. Hopefully, fingers crossed, my conditions are good enough because I'll be honest with you, I've been a bit lax with getting the humidity up in the house. Basically, I haven't done it. So I'm sat at 45%. So we'll see how these guys do. Maybe they'll be all right. Maybe they won't. I don't know. Answers on a postcard. Anyway, I'm out of breath. Thank you very much for watching this. I don't know what this is. I just, I wanted to try something. I know it's not really content as such, but just in case anyone was bored, wanted to relax with a bit of music on, just watch somebody do something. There you are. I guess that's for you. So if you like this video, please leave a like down below. If you'd like to see any more of my content that I promise is more structured than this and is a bit more, you know, stuff is going on, then please feel free to hit that subscribe button. That's it for today's video. I'm going to go clean my hands, put these in the car and off I go. And I will see you, well, on Friday, right? Bye.